Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jarelle Mata. Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial and we're going to be using the new Nabla palette which is called the Poison Garden. Um, I purchased this palette a couple of weeks ago when it first first came out and this is what it looks like right here. These are the shades. And like I mentioned on that video, I was actually talking about new palettes that I had just purchased. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it somewhere up here. But I did mention this palette as well as another palette from Nabla that I purchased. And this one is the first palette that they actually came out with. So let me show you the colors and this is what the palette looks like right here this um they do seem a pretty similar to tell you the truth i did not realize how similar they are to um to each other until i actually opened them up and saw them side by side so they do have some similarities i don't know if you can tell but this palette right here seems to be a little bit more like soft colors and this one right here it's a little bit more of like a bolder look so i just wanted to show you the comparison of these uh, two palettes right here just because one seems to be a little bit more soft than the other one but my main focus is going to be using this palette right here since is their newer release and this one the the colors are just calling out to me and uh, it's just so beautiful if you're still interested in me creating a look using the first palette that i show you the dreamy palette please let me know in the comment section down below i would love to actually use this palette as well in a future tutorial so, so yeah let's go ahead and get started but before we get into the video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video which is every single week and yeah without further ado let's get on to the video so before i start with the eyes i'm going to prep my face i'm going to be using this believe aqua bomb mist So I'm going to be using this cream by Belief as well. And this one is the True Cream Aqua Balm. This combination right here is so good. I love it so much because it really, really hydrates my skin. I just feel my skin is just drinking water and just hydrating itself so so good to prime my eyes i'm going to be using this amazing product which is the soft ochre paint pot by mac and this one is my sigma e60 brush and i go all the way to the brow bone just because i don't know what i'm creating just yet so just to cover all of my bases I, I go from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. I like this brush because it's a synthetic brush and it's pretty big compared to other brushes and it covers all this area pretty fast as you could see. All right, now using my Sigma E35 brush that looks like this, I'm going to use this canvas shade right here. It's called Canvas and it's a really nice yellowy tone base shade and i'm just going to pat it on my crease and then blend i'm going to blend up so by looking at this um palette right here i actually want to use the maroon shades as well as the blue shades so that's what i'm going to be focusing on since i'm going to be using this uh, pinky tones right here i'm going to use uh, this shade right here to with the same brush just so we can work it on our crease and i'm going to create that v shape and i'm going to stand it out just because I want to play with a lot of colors right here on my outer corner. So I do want this color to actually peek through. So I'm working myself in whatever is inside. And right here, in this part right here, just... To me personally, I think that whenever you bring an eyeshadow right here, just 
create so much depth on your eyes and it makes it look so much bigger so that's why I like to do that so this is just you know my little tips um, but whatever works for your eye shape just build in this color to the intensity that I like. So now I'm going to take this shade right here and that one is called Berry Bite. And I'm taking my MAC 217 brush and a very old MAC 217 brush. Just creating that wing shape, that outer corner shape. And going back with the first brush that we were using and I'm just going to blend those edges and just taking a little bit more to make sure that we are blending. All right, now using the same brush, I am taking this shade right here called Opera. And we're just going to deepen out the outer corner. And just working that shade a little bit in on the crease barely barely touching our crease just so we can give it a little bit of depth going back with the first brush just blending the edges going in with berry bite and just intensifying that color just a little bit. These are all matte shades, so they can be a little bit harder to work with. So just take your time. All right, so I'm going to be using a little bit of my shape tape to cut the crease. So just in case you already knew I was cutting my crease. Good job. Change that brush to something a little bit slimmer, which is the Alamar Cosmetics Ojito brush I'm going to use a smaller brush just so we can tap that concealer all right using a pointer brush like this I am going to take uh, this blue shade right here and I'm going to tap it This is going to be in the outer corner and working myself towards that red shade. All right, just like that. And I'm taking this a deeper shade right here and just connecting those two together, tapping it. And taking Bury Me Bite and a little bit of Opera, just mixing those two shades. I'm going to work on this little corner right here so they can blend nicely together. So there is a little bit of a patchiness on this area right here from the Zodiac um, shade. It's just, it's not sticking to my lid. So I'm going to see if I can pack it. I'm just not moving. All right, so now working in this blue shade right here, I'm just going to slightly blend it. All right, now using a flat brush, I am taking this shade right here, and I'm just gonna work that in my inner corner. I'm just working it into the blue. All 
All right, on the flip side of that brush, I'm just going to add a little bit of this purple shade right here. I'm just going to take this shade right here and just put it all the way towards the outer corner. Just because this shade didn't really work out for me much. So now I'm going to work on the other eye and then I'm going to be right back. Okay guys, after a lot, a lot of blending and just working those shades together, um, I gotta say that it has been very, very difficult for me, especially for this eye right here, but this is my bad eye. This one was okay, still not the best that I've actually worked with, especially these uh, two shades right here. This one in the blue shade, those are the two colors that I actually wanted to try, but because they're very deep, deep shades, they are very difficult to make from what I've learned, through watching YouTube and seeing so many videos of actually people making makeup, um, I've learned that those shades, those kind of shades of deeper purpley blue tone shades are really, really hard to make. Um, there has been a little bit of patchiness right here, so the best way for you to work this two shades is for you to actually pack it on so I have been packing it the minute that you blend it actually blends away so yeah I just wanted to give you that information because it's very important especially if you are interested in getting these palettes on in these two shades were actually something that you wanted to know how they perform that it has been really 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 hard um, and also to blend mattes with mattes is like super hard especially if you're trying to blend like deeper shades together it is something that you have to continue on practicing and after a much blending um i'm still not like 100 percent happy of the way that it came out um but you know we're just going to continue i and basically what you have to do is just pack it pack it pack it pack it don't even try to blend it don't even try to move it around it's just packing the color and leave it as is and that is the best that i can do so i'm just going to leave that I as it is I can continue I and I can be here for like hours so I'm going to clean up using a makeup wipe because it is pretty far out you know what let me just add a little bit of a fix plus so I can make it pop a little bit more because this one seems to be popping more than this one just adding a little bit of fix plus All right, so I'm adding in this one on top. And I'm just adding a little bit of Berry Bite on the inner corners right here. I love this brush is the one that we got last month from Boxy Charm. So now that I cleaned that up, I'm going to do my base and my brows and I'll be right back so we can finish the rest of the look. All right guys, so let's go ahead and finish up with the eyes. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade Chaos. And I'm going to be adding that one on my waterline. All right, so using my Sigma E15 brush, and I'm taking this blue shade right here, and just run that by your lower lashes, all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. All right, now using this detail brush right here that I got from my Luxie brushes from BoxyCharm, I'm going to take this shade right here which is the one that we have been using a lot this is berry bite and i'm going to just work that on the lower lashes under that blue and just smoke it out a little bit and just make sure that you are connecting on the side all 
All right, with the same brush, I am going to take the Deeper Berry. This one right here is called Opera and Opera. And I'm going to take it and just focus it on the outer corner. So I'm going to use this white shade, just very, very little of it. I don't know how pigmented it is. And I'm going to pop it in the inner corner. Wow, that's beautiful. And just working it inside. So just adding a little bit of this pink on top of it. Yep. I'm going to add some mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, for lips, I'm going to be using this little combo right here. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, and this one is Up and Down Tan. And I'm also going to be using this lip gloss right here by Dominique Cosmetics, and this one is in the shade Sweet Tea. So, okay, so this is the final look. All right, so now that the garbage truck has passed by, it's going to come back, so let's hurry up and finish this video already. I love the end result. I love it very, very much. Um, after you apply the lashes and you know mascara and everything else it comes together um, so sometimes when you want to give up because I totally wanted to give up in the beginning um, just because I felt like you know they weren't blending to my liking it wasn't easy so you have to, to put it in on the work for those two shades definitely but overall I am very very happy this palette it's gorgeous i mean if you look at it it's just gorgeous i love the two berry shades i'm very impressed of the way that they actually blended um this duochrome right here that i have in my inner corner amazing um and you can actually shift the the shade you can use it all by itself but if you put on top of it like i did i put the the shade that we use on our inner lid on top of it it comes it down a little bit and it makes it a little bit more like pinky so you can definitely play with this shade the two blue shades of course it was really hard to work with, but at the end of it, I already know not to use this shade. For sure, this one is just not, it's not going to work out for me. Definitely, it's not going to work out. Even if I pack it, pack it, pack it, it's just not going to be what I want it to be. So um, out of the whole entire palette, this shade is definitely not something that I am going to be leaning or to, you know, like to play with at all. But the rest of the shades that I've used so far, it's amazing. I am going to try to see if I can create another look using more of the warmer shades right here. Um, because these right here are the only ones that I haven't used. Um, yeah, because I use all these three. So yeah, so all of these right here, which are like the brown, neutral, golden, you know, coppery shades that we know that we're going to love because I tend to love those shades. Um, I really shy away from those colors when I'm trying a palette right away. If you have been watching my channel for a little while, you already know that I tend to go the other way around um, to use the harder shades, shades that I know that I'm not going to be like using every single day just because I want to test them out. So that's what I did today. So yeah, so Nabla so far, it's doing well for me so we will see on the next look maybe we'll do like another palette and then i'll go back into this one soon let me know if you want to see another tutorial using those shades that i mentioned or if you want me to dub into something else i don't know leave me a comment down below and let me know so yeah that's it for the video thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can also 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 share it if you ask me why don't i have more subscriber i'm trying <laughs>
<laughs> I'm trying every single day to reach to those of you that are going to be enjoying my channel. I know I'm not for everybody, but if you know someone, a friend, a family member, or someone that might enjoy you know, my style of videos, please go ahead and share them. It will truly mean the world to me. So yeah, let's go ahead and make this little family grow. That will be amazing. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you next time. Bye.